And Paul, just another note about Connie Coletta having a car in a funny car final and the top fuel final. A team tells me that's the first time that's ever happened at the same race. And as far as David Grubnick goes, he says no matter what happens, he's had a fun day. He's happy for everyone, but he'd like to make it more fun with the win right here. Del Worth in that car there, 16 and 1 in final rounds. That's pretty amazing. And uh, amazing, it's. Well, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Grub, Grubby has his work cut out, is what you're saying. I'm saying that. I agree. And there it is. 397, 299 miles an hour. Dell Worsham has done it again. His fifth race win in 2011 in Top Fuel, his 30th overall in Nitro. I'm bored with David Grubnick. You're going to see Dell had the big advantage off the starting line, and Grubnick was running pretty good until he had cylinders going out, but boy, that big advantage off the starting line, almost 600 or 500 of a second, never looked back. And down on the starting line with Brian Husen, who takes a handshake from the team owner, Alan Johnson. Brian, you know it takes this entire team to continue to get these wins, but how tough is it to maintain that razor sharp edge you guys have this year? It's not very easy. I mean, you look at what Spencer's been doing, and that's really difficult, and you got to give those guys a lot of credit. Um, we've had some really tough races here in the last couple of weeks, a lot of hot tracks, but um, we got a great group of guys. We've got two really good teams, two really good drivers, one great tuner, two great tuners. We've got Jason, and uh, I'm, just, uh, I'm just learning and, and paying attention, and someday I can uh, hopefully be as good as they are. Congratulations. The team races to promote Qatar, and they have gotten a lot of promotion lately. Top fuel points. Dave Grubnick, look down there at the bottom, made it into the top ten, moved up two positions, displacing Terry McMillan and Del Worsham. Uh, he's beginning to get a stranglehold. Is he going to tuning mode now? <laughs> I don't think so. I think they just want to go out there and just break everybody's back to all year long. Go to Gary Gerald. Coming around the back end of this beautiful dragster, remember the great success that his teammate Larry Dixon had in this car last year. A perfect 12 and 0 in finals, and now Del Worsham has won for the fifth time this year. How does this dream just keep getting better and better? Oh, you know, it, it just starts with, it does, and I know all race, everybody in racing says this, and everybody has the same line, but, you know, it, it starts with the team. You know, I'm driving for a team that has so much depth, and they're so good at what they do that, you know, when when you make mistakes, it seems like there's people there to cover for you, you know, and make sure that things are all right. And, oh, for uh, for Shake Khaled, Alan Abbey, and uh, Redline Toyota, Brian, Jason, and you know, I'll tell you, really had a tough job this weekend. Who doesn't get much credit is Chad Head out there reading the track. He's constantly on that track, letting us know what's going on, and uh, he did a great job this weekend, making sure that Alan was informed on what he thought, and uh, my entire family and full throttle NHRA for just giving me a place to race 21 years later. Number five, sir. We mentioned that fifth win of the year. That equals the best season he had in a funny car back in 2004 when he won five. And he becomes just the 13th driver in Nitro to history to have 30 or more wins. Here are the points in funny car. Mike Neff well out in front. Johnny Gray sits down there with 10th and Tim Wilkerson just two behind in 11th. That's the battle. And the teams.